this video I'm going to work out an individual integral. It is going to be a basic U substitution, but because of the trig functions, you are going to have to do some trig substitutions here, and um, so for that reason it makes it maybe a little more tricky than it, it, a normal U substitution problem is. I'm going to take a look at this integral right here, and I'm going to try to find the inside part of my function. All right, I've got cosine of a tangent x here. That tangent x, since it's on the inside part of a composite function, that's a really good place to start letting your u equal that. So we're going to let our u equal tangent x. Okay, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. So du is equal to... Da uh, derivative of tangent is going to be secant squared x dx. Alright, to make the uh, substitutions a little bit easier, I'm going to go ahead and solve all the way down for that dx. So I'm going to have a du over a secant squared x is equal to that dx. Okay, after you get that part done, you're going to come back up here to your original integral and you're going to start making some substitutions. Okay, so I'm going to have a cosine all right, I'm going to replace that tangent x with my u, so cosine u, over, I'm going to keep that cosine squared x right there. I'm going to substitute that dx for what we said it was going to be equal to, so du over secant squared x. All right, now at this point, it may be difficult to see that this substitution is going to work and is going to lie in here, so I'm going to take this part of this integral, and I'm just going to separate it out so that we can more clearly see a 1 over cosine squared. So if I have the integral here, I'm going to take that cosine u, all right, times a 1 over a cosine squared x. So if I multiply those two things, I have that expression right there. So separating it out is going to help that stu student that is struggling maybe just a little bit. All right, I'm going to keep that du over a secant squared x. All right, now hopefully I can see there is my 1 over cosine squared x, so I can replace it with that secant squared x. So I will have cosine u times, making that replacement there, secant squared x times the du over the secant squared x. All right, at this point, hopefully this clearly shows this is in the denominator, this is in the numerator, I can cross them out. That's where we wanted to get because now I'm down to the integral of a cosine u du, and that's one of our basic um, trig integrals that we have memorized. So when you integrate cosine, you have you get sine. So we're going to have sine u. I can put the plus c on because I've integrated now at this point. Last step then would just be to replace what you said u was going to equal. So then I'm going to have sine of tangent x plus c for a final answer. So definitely um, straightforward as far as you know, use substitution, but because of the trig functions, you're going to have to you know, manipulate this so that you can see it well enough to make whatever trig substitutions you need to in order to get to an integral that you can actually uh, work out. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. Thanks.